What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Kalel, aka Luther Inc. I'm going to be reviewing today the IPV Mini 2 along with the Atlantis V2, both courtesy of Allison over at Wake and Vape. And let me just say first and foremost, the customer service at Wake and Vape is 100% phenomenal. Like I was highly impressed. As always, United States Postal Service stunk and was extremely horrible about getting my package to me on time. Allison was communicative the entire process. She made it a point of checking up on the tracking numbers. Even when I couldn't get information out of the uh, United States Postal Service, she was able to. And like I said, throughout the entire process, I had to have emailed her at least seven times. And she was communicated back within a 24-hour time frame almost immediately. <clears throat> With that being said, 70 watts. Yeah, this thing can do it. No questions about it. Battery life ain't going to be that great, but she can do it. Right now, I am at 60 watts on this 0.3 ohm coil in the Atlantis version 2. <clears throat> oh, and they make an adapter for this, by the way. So all you folks that hate the extra large drip tip, for $2 from Aspire, they sell an adapter that fits right on top of the airflow control for the drip tip, replacing this part here. And allows you to put any 510 drip tip that you'd like. I'm pretty certain Grim Green already said that you can use the uh, drip tip from the Mutation X version 3. Fits right in here without the adapter. But either which way, I bought the adapter, gave it to my wife because she can't stand the extra large drip tip. And it's really nice because it sits right on top of here and actually closes down the opening a little bit. Because she that's pretty wide bore. Um, you can actually use it as a drip tip itself, which I liked. I preferred. And I figured for $2, it's probably the cheapest drip tip I'd ever bought and liked. But anyway, back to the IPV to start the show. As you see, this is the limited edition year of the GOAT RAM, whatever it is on here. Um, a lot of people complained about the threads. What I found was if you just take your time, this, the threads on this are actually pretty decent. I've had no issues getting battery in and out. And like I said, power-wise, one battery, trying to get up to like 60, 70 watts, your battery life is not going to be that great. It's not going to be horrible, but, you know, carry a second battery. And even if you don't, <clears throat> they give you the USB charger, which is a pass-through. You can vape on this while it's plugged in. I have done it. It works just fine. In fact, I, I do it probably about two or three times a day. On my way home from work, battery's a little low. I don't carry a spare battery. don't care to carry a spare battery. So I will plug this thing in in the car ride home and vape all the way home. Mod will get a little hot. It does get a little hot while while plugged in for the USB. But, you know, who cares? The idea is, does this thing vape? Well, I'll tell you if it vapes. Yeah. Yeah, it vapes like a champ. I absolutely love it. Flavor on the V2 is definitely better than the V1 and I do believe it's due to the uh, new organic cotton coils kind of hard to see but the wicking holes are easily twice the diameter I mean you put the version 1 coil in here and it barely even is noticeable inside these wicking channels put the version 2 in here and you can barely see that the holes are filling up the entire opening for the wicking channels I'm quite happy with it. I mean, this is probably the best purchase I've made in the last eight months since I've quit smoking. Yes, I am now eight months cigarette-free. No stinkies for me. And, uh, you know, pardon the lawnmower outside, but uh, I am outside doing this review as I no longer vape in the house. Just wanted to request my landlord made. Not a big deal. He's got a new kid in the way, so I can comp I can comprehend the, the fears and uh, not understanding what's going on with vaping. He doesn't vape, so, you know, it's not for him to, to know about those laws or do these studies. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's up to people like us who vape intelligently to educate folks around us who are not aware what vaping is or what it's about. You know, <clears throat> but in the same token, I kindly respect a lot of laws that apply to smoking just so that people don't get weirded out and funny and vaping becomes something of an outcast scenario much like cigarettes are so <clears throat> as you can see back to the review I start rambling sorry fits lovely in the hand I mean this is not a large device by any means it's a hefty device definitely feels solid and very well made 
Um, I have noticed on the internet there were complaints about battery rattle. Yeah, I'm not sure if you can hear that. Very slight. I mean, honestly, it's more or less when I first got this. Let's see if you can hear that. When I first got this, the buttons were so solid, there's absolutely no playing in whatsoever, and there's still very, very minimal play in the power button, and that's what I use the most. The up and down buttons, the up and down buttons work just fine. There is no play in there whatsoever. Very, very nice feel to them. Very clicky. You know, it's just a good feeling device. And I promised Ashley from Wake and Vape that I was going to be getting this review up last Friday. But I wanted to spend some time with the product just because there were a few negative reviews on the internet prior. And I can honestly say this is a buy. This is a buy and, and I'll say it's a buy not because I got it for the price I got it for. Um, Wake and Vape sells this specific model, at least it did two weeks ago, for $50.50 with $5 shipping. So for 55 bucks, a 70 watt device that can fire 0.3 ohm coils on the Atlantis Virgis 2, no problem. Yeah, uh, it, it's a buy. Definitely a buy for me. It's a win. I put my mechanicals down. My Stingray X is sitting on my dresser, fully cleaned, and honestly, it's probably going to go up for sale because I don't think I'll ever go back to mechanicals after playing around and really enjoying a regulated mod. I'm currently waiting on my IPv4 to get here. Whenever Pioneer for you decides to get off their butt and actually put out the black pine, uh, the back IPv4, that's what I'll be doing. But until then, I mean, it is what it is. I do not mind at all. Thanks for watching YouTube. Again, wakingvape.com truly cannot say enough about them. That's you know positive. And the IPv Mini too. You're looking for a nice all around. This thing goes with me everywhere. Fits right in my pocket. I carry it. Keep it at work. Take it around the car rides. The thing is great. Absolutely great. I have had a couple of drippers on here as well, and I have fired it up at 70 watts, and it kicks booty. No question. This thing fires at 70 watts, no problem at all. Um, again, I'm not Phil Pissardo, so you won't see me testing any anything. I can't verify that it's actually 70 watts or it's actually firing accurately, but I tell you what, I enjoy it. 50 bucks. I'm not having a problem with it. I liked it so much that I bought my wife one along with another Atlantis version 2 and it's her new go-to she doesn't use anything at all other than this prior to this we were using the um, the Aspire sub ohm batteries and the Aspire uh, Atlantis version 1 and the sub ohm battery after a while it just it just tends not to hold the charge as long we had the mod as well and the mod worked great for about six months and then it started to have like what I feel was firing issues where it was just burning coil after coil after coil could I say I got a bad package of coils from Aspire? It's possible. I know enough people complained about it. But when you buy a five pack, and out of the five pack, only two last you three weeks, two weeks, yeah, I'm willing to bet that it was not the coils because I can't just see Aspire selling a five pack and three of the five coils are crap. One of the five coils, maybe even two of the five coils, bad batch, who knows. But three out of five is, is a shoddy shoddy production if that's the case and I really have to question it because I've been on this coil now I put it in here fresh when I got it two weeks and it's still rocking I mean let me have a quick tote just so I can you know enjoy vaping I mean you can see the vapor it puts out is just freaking stupid. Flavor, phenomenal. Cloud's still going past the car. Whatever. Wish it was more of a beautiful day out here in New Jersey, but I'm thankful it's not because at 9 o'clock in the morning, if one person's cutting their grass and it's pretty crappy outside, I mean, pretty crappy outside. If it was nice and sunny, uh, there'd be 10 people cutting their grass and you guys definitely wouldn't be able to hear me so thank goodness for that either which way that's my review on the IPv Mini 2 and the Atlantis version 2 absolutely love the combination and you can see dude like I'm 6 foot 4 <clears throat> size 14 sneakers so you can imagine I'm a pretty tall guy and this thing sits in my hand comfortable 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 I mean you can just see look at that from top to bottom, 
the only thing sitting outside my hand is the tank. I've got a new tank coming from a company called Smoke Me. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys have seen that yet. <clears throat> I should have that review up probably by the end of the next week. Um, yeah, I can't review things as fast as, uh, you know, Twisted 420 or Grim Green or even, you know, some of the lesser known reviewers because, well, this is, this is my hobby. I pay for everything I get. I don't get things sent to me for free, so you can know that when I'm spending my money, I'm doing accurate research. I'm watching those videos. I love Twisted. I love Ruby. I love Matt from Suck My Mod, Grim Green, Phil Bissardo. You know, those guys are great because they make it easy for me to shop and spend my money wisely. So if you're not watching the reviewers that do this, you know, I wish shouldn't say for a living, but, you know, it, people who do this religiously, those are the guys you should be watching. Those are the guys' opinions you should be paying attention to and just seeing the quality of the products that they're dealing with. These are guys who are not, you know, they don't just grab things and review it in the first week like, hey, I got this, it's great. And then a week later, the thing craps out after they already told the entire internet population that we should go buy it. No, no. That's why I swear by those guys, man. They're they are awesome. So, this is Luther Inc. signing off, a.k.a. kal -El. It's your boy. Holla at me later, man. Oh, shout out to my boy, Vaping With Thesis. That's another dude who's on point. Love his reviews, man. Love his reviews. Get some more RC cars up, brother. And I'm out. One.